The internet has become the world's greatest platform for innovation, job creation, economic growth. It's non-discriminatory and open nature has fostered a level playing field where the competition for the best in technology and ideas thrives. An open internet enables freedom of expression and the sharing of ideas across town or across the world. An open internet is driving economic growth in my state of Massachusetts and throughout the United States, but it's also the driving force behind the historic proliferation of selfies. Openness is the internet's heart and non-discrimination is its soul. And infringements on either of these features undermine the spirit and intent of net neutrality. Yet the vitality of this platform is at stake today. The issue is how the Federal Communications Commission should use its authority to keep the internet open for business. When the Federal Communications Commission first unveiled its new open internet proposal a few weeks ago, the commission contemplated whether to allow paid prioritization. As a result, consumers could be stuck in a traffic jam when a broadband provider decides to slow down a Friday night streaming of Netflix House of Cards or bring a high-speed Yahoo search to a crawl or block a free online call to a co-worker abroad. Under those proposed internet rules of the road, fast lanes could open to those who can pay, leaving others stuck in traffic. The result, higher prices for consumers to pay for internet access and the stifling of entrepreneurs seeking to move their content to consumers. Without a truly open internet, startups and small businesses would suffer, slowing our economy and job growth throughout Massachusetts and around the country. Unfortunately, I have seen this flight and this fight before. In 2006, when the open internet was under attack, I introduced the first net neutrality bill in the House of Representatives. Today, our battle to preserve an open and free internet wages on. Last week, I joined 10 of my Senate colleagues in urging FCC Chairman Tom Wheeler to reconsider the paid prioritization proposal and insist that the FCC explore all options, including reclassifying broadband under Title II of the Telecommunications Act. We need to put on the books the strongest open internet rules possible. As the primary house author of the 1996 Telecommunications Act as a Democrat, the law that unleashed competition and created hundreds of millions of dollars of private investment, I know the FCC has both the power and responsibility to oversee the operation of broadband networks and to intervene in the effort to preserve competition and safeguard consumers. What's at stake here is nothing less than the internet as we know it. That's why we need you to make your voice heard, to protect this vital tool that helps businesses compete and expand, pumping life into our economy. We must fight to preserve net neutrality and a truly open and free internet. Thank you for everything you are doing in order to advance that free, open, chaotic internet that we know has created a new way in which everyone is able to communicate with each other while creating jobs across our country and across our planet. Through your efforts, we will win.